Well, first of all, uh, I'll let you know that uh, I've been very fortunate to be around uh, some big time games and very blessed. And and I, I, from the bottom of my heart, I told those players that might have been the best one we've, I've ever seen to come back from the kick in the stomach that we took a week ago. It was an awful week of practice. Uh, not not awful as far as the way everybody felt. And uh, they come out and navigate a storm against an excellent team. And we have a lot of respect for uh, very good personnel, especially that defense. To come out and do that against them, that shows you uh, that's, this is one of the best group of kids I've ever been around. And uh, it, extremely grateful to be around them. And uh, uh, I think Buckeye Nation should be very proud of those guys to do that after this week. So with that said, I'll answer your questions. We'll start over here till the right, Bill. You alluded to this, you mentioned this week. Just how, how did you and the coaches get that team past what happened last week? Uh, that was the one of the hollowest feelings I can speak on, on our staff because I know that was as hollow maybe after a game as I've ever felt and our coaching staff ever felt and you know the whole Zeke thing and that. Uh, they're all good kids, man. These kids are good kids, and the emotions, you know, you go on a whatever game winning streak and you see everything snapped. Um, incredible. And uh, it's just a sign. You don't train for that game in one week. That's They've been training, you know, all it's the leadership training, it's the character, it's the the guys that, you know, the, the we call power of the unit. Those are all involved in things like that. And uh, But you need good, good, talented players to do that, obviously, and we have that. Front row, middle. Tim? Yeah, a couple. Uh, number one, to see Zeke step back like he did over 200 yards and stuff in the rushing offense. What, what was the key there from your vantage point? Uh, blocking him. Uh, blocking a very good front, I think, second ranked defense in college football. And uh, we, we knew we were going to go with Zeke, and I didn't know that much. You know, I didn't. Uh, but, uh, and then JT played his tail off, too. I don't have his rushing. He was over 100. Wow. Over 200. Yeah. Hold on, sorry. No, JT. JT ran for 140 or 139, 214 for Zeke. Yeah, incredible effort by both those kids. But it all starts up front. And I will say this, that Ed Warner uh, gets blistered, and you know that's part of the title that comes with it. And um, he did a marvelous job uh, coaching. And he was up in the press box. Today. Yeah, we made that move. Yeah, I had to do – we had to make a move. We were not getting that game called. And to coach all five guys – and call a game or be involved in the play calling, that's tough. And so about Tuesday, I just said, we're going to do this. And um, it, was, it was difficult. Uh, but um, you can only do that with a veteran offense line. You do that with the young offense line, it's a mess because you can't make adjustments and all that. But he did a wonderful job. Far left, Clay. You think you took the game away from them in the third quarter with the two long drives? I couldn't tell you that, Clay. I'm still. I think we uh, I think we took the game away just when the offensive line really started controlling it. I guess yeah. The answer to your question yes. Far right over here, Teddy. Irving, what, what was your week like with JT with uh, Zeke? Did you guys spend Thanksgiving together and, and uh, <laughs> how did your relationship all come out of it? Uh, it's never. I, I hate to disappoint everybody. It's never been anything other than uh, perfect. And whatever was said last week, he even. I think he apologized 37 or 38 times. I lost track, uh, and I told him he don't need to apologize. He's got banked investment with the uh, Meyer family and the, the coaches, or Coach Warner and all that, and the team. So, um, yeah, we actually did for third year in a row. Spent Thanksgiving together. Outstanding. Hope we get four, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> Sec second row right, Doug. Perfect. Maybe a bye week, huh? We know what happened with the program last year winning the national championship and what that meant. But a game like this, coming off a loss against your rival, you just won a big game. But to think of what, what could have gone the other way if you didn't come out like this today, just like, what does it mean for the program to do this against your rival today? I just, well, against a team that was an uh, excellent team, a team that had, uh, you know, as good a defense as there is in college football. So you take it all in the end. I mean, you come rocking in the stadium now. It was rocking. And uh, our offense line, defense line, control the game. And uh, so to answer your question, I don't want to go where you're headed at what if we didn't do that because it would be dire straits right now. You know, you can win a, a million games in a row and you lose two in a row and you're, you're back to square one. Far left over there, Tom. Uh, Irvin, a little more on Zeke. Just not only getting beyond uh, his apology and, and you guys saying you believe in him, but just what this – I think uh, you know I don't I don't 
lobby or like maybe I do. He should be in New York. It's, uh, he's one of the best players in America. He should be a Heisman guy. And I don't know if he should win it. I don't know the other players, but I've been fortunate to be around. He, he's as good a player as I've ever been around. And, and he's on a team that's, what are we now, 11-1. We're 11-1, and one and he's the best player that I've ever been around, one of the best players I've ever been around. Number, number two all-time career rushing at Ohio State, too. Went yeah. past Eddie George today. He passed Eddie? Yeah. Eddie, who's that again? Eddie George. Yeah. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't get the other guy? Yeah, the two-timer? Yeah, you better stride out and post it. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll do the last question right here, gentlemen, in the front row here. Yeah, Urban, how huge was it to execute in the red zone with those five touchdowns to be able to impose your will in such a situation? Well, it's, it's all you know, who you're going against, too. That's the... And I want to make clear that uh, the, I think one of the reasons why they practiced and, and got refocused so quickly is because of the uh, respect they have for their opponent. And that is an excellent football team and uh, uh, very good personnel, excellent personnel. And that what's made, when you just said, I don't probably go the far as saying oppose, but to do that against them makes it even extra special.